Alright, this is the uh, how-to video on how to replace the rear drum brakes on a 1972 Honda CB500. Alright, so to start off, we've already gone ahead and removed the wheel assembly from our bike. Now to do that, you really just need to disconnect the um, arm here and then the little arm here that holds the brake in place. And then the tire will come off after you take the axle off. So we've got it off. We're going to go ahead and start by removing this little actuating arm here. So now that that arm's off, we'll go ahead and remove our brake from the tire and it'll just slide out. So this is what the inside of the brake is going to look like. Okay, so we've got our brake removed from the tire. Now what we need to do is get these two springs out. They're under a lot of tension, but hopefully we'll be able to just kind of get them out with a pair of pliers and maybe a screwdriver. There we go. That's the first one. Alright, so now that our springs are loose, you can see we've got two halves here, and they are held together, or held onto the brake by this little plate and these two cotter pins. So we'll go ahead and remove the cotter pins. And then the plate will come off, and we've got our two halves of our brake pads. Those will just slide up and out. So that's what your brake pads look like. And there's our new one. So our brake assembly is all cleaned up and we're going to go ahead and start to reassemble it. What we're going to do is grease up these two posts, which is where this rides on and pivots against. Then we're also going to grease up either flat on this, which is actually what turns this and actuates your brakes out. So we'll go ahead and start off by putting spring in one side here. Then this will just go right over that. Put our other side on. Then we will take our plate and that's going to slide right back on there. We've got some new cotter pins. Bend those around. So our little plate that holds our two pads on is on, so the last thing we need to do is hook up these two springs. So we'll just grab it, get that in the hole, and there you go, our brake is rebuilt.